<laughs> I can't keep a straight face to save my life. So, I'm wearing my cool shades. Just to show y'all, I do have some color. But, more importantly, oh Jesus, put them back on my eyes or take them off. I'm obsessed with these sunglasses though. I have sunglasses really in every single color between diff and clay and quay um, because of the summer holders carrying them. I absolutely love them, but I just walked inside. So they were still on my face. Great news. Uh, fantastic news actually. Um, so I had already told y'all that the doctors took me off of all 19 of my medications and <clears throat> they still had uh, some tests that were out that I was waiting to. Um, Ten-year-old just brought me my fiber, and it's not for me; it's for her. I'm celebrating. I'm drinking Starbucks. Yes. So, even my kids take the stuff. Um. So, um, I'm gonna move these out of the way so I can see. Okay, that's better. So, I just went to my last doctor appointment for all of my test results, not only from when I was in the hospital, but tests that I've had done since I've been out of the hospital um, because they still couldn't figure out why I kept passing out at night and all this other nonsense. So I've never had any blood pressure issues ever. And then all of a sudden I don't have, I mean, being as big as I am, even though I'm losing weight and I'm on a plant-based um, diet and plant-based supplements and all this jazz, I'm losing weight, but you would expect somebody who's been as heavy as I am and on steroids as long as I've been on steroids to have hypertension. It's the exact, it was, it was the exact opposite for me. And that's what put me in the hospital is I completely passed out. Um, I was seeing like quadruple of everything. Uh, I, don't remember a whole lot about the first emergency room that Paul took me to, but they took me by ambulance to the big hospital because they couldn't even treat me there. And then I was stuck in the hospital for a week. Being poked and prodded on, I still have bruises like everywhere. 20 punctures in tw like 12 to 14 hours and four blown veins. I wasn't awake to tell them, hey, I have really deep veins, and if you listen to me, I will tell you exactly how to get there. Um, so I wasn't awake, so I went, got, I was a pen cushion. So throughout my entire stay in the hospital, my blood pressure stayed really, really low. Like even when I got discharged from the hospital, there was nothing else they could do. They did neuro, they did endocrine, and they did lymphatic, they did cardio, they've done everything. So, um, they had sent me to some re referrals in other cities and states and stuff. And they were like, we have no clue. And there was a couple of more tests that I could do out as an outpatient. Long story short, um, I started getting, I went to the doctor, all my other doctors, except my cardiologist. I went to them yesterday and the day before I've been living at the freaking doctor's office. And I got taken off of all of my medication because the doctors remembered that I said in the hospital that, you know, I wanted, whenever they bring you your hospital food, I monitor, I mean, I am um, made a modification to mine. Um, Rachel, I'll have to answer you in a little while because I eat plant-based. Um, so they remembered that and they came back to me and they were like, hey, you know, while you're waiting here for this four hour nuclear stress test, um, what's the name of the supplements that you've been taking? So this was day before yesterday. So I gave it to them. I gave them the name. I said, it's Modair, all the supplements, every single thing that I take, there's not one chemical in there at all. Everything is all a hundred percent plant-based and plus I eat plant-based. So you can check it out. And they did just that. All of my doctors got on a conference call. They went through every little thing down to these little shots of antioxidants, beauty nectar. This is what I just started taking today. Um, every 
every probiotic, every multivitamin. I have liver health. I mean, every single thing. They even went through the the product um, ingredients on stuff that I don't even take. Um, and they came back and they were like, this is preliminary, but we think what's gone on is looking at your images. And I have some really cool pictures of my insides, by the way. It's pretty gnarly what they do these days. Um, my body has literally healed it. It's starting to heal itself from the inside out. So taking all of those pharmaceutical medications my body didn't need them anymore. And so that's why I was passing out all the time. So I was like, medically speaking, I can understand the science and being a medical professional, I could totally, I don't even know why it didn't cross my mind not to be taking the medication. Um, so I started noticing the change and I was like, damn, maybe I'm just really tired. And no, just came back from the cardiologist and it was an in and out visit. As y'all know, I was just live like an hour ago. Um, I tried to do the live on the road because I was so excited. So I am completely free and clear of all of my stuff. My lupus, my rheumatoid arthritis, my fibromyalgia. Everything is in remission. My cancer's in remission. Um, I'm off all medications and... His only advisement would was to, you know, continue to lose weight. My blood pressure is normal now. And I've never had more energy. He actually asked me, where do I get all my energy from? Um, most larger people have really hypertension. They have really high blood pressure and they're really fatigued, which I have been for so many years. Oh my God, I would just live in my bed. And now I'm like... I'm ready to get up and fucking go. Like, I want to go, 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 go. And no medications anymore. I feel like I wasted last month's money on all these pharmaceuticals because the hospital, I went to the hospital like the second week in the month and then I had to go back. And they were like, stop taking everything. I was like, like, I'm on big time shit like Humira, Wait, methotrexate, boat, right? all kinds of stuff. And... I was like, you want me to stop all of that stuff? Like, I don't know how my body's going to respond. And even off of my um, antipsychotics, my anti-anxiety medicine, medicine it took me off of everything. Yeah. Because they didn't want me taking anything that had a sedative in it that would drop my blood pressure. Yeah. They were really trying to get to the root of what was going on. The root of what has been going on is the fact that my body has healed itself in six weeks. I started plant-based dieting six weeks ago and started the Modere products. I was a month yesterday and I am, I have a clean bill of health and I love that Modere's, where's, is it on my card? Hold one second. Modere's, um, no, because I customized mine like a retard. But Modere's, uh, all of their stuff says Modere and then it says live clean. Which is exactly what we do. We live clean. Um, clean household products from my shampoo, my conditioner, my toothpaste, my mouthwash, um, laundry detergent, dish detergent. Um, we even have laundry pods, dryer sheets, a household clean. You name it, Modere has it. 100% plant-based. If for whatever reason... Maybe you have to go answer the door and sign for a package and your kid gets into the chemical cabinet under the sink or whatever. If you have nothing but Modere products in there, I'm not saying that you need to go test it out on your kids, but the chances of them being really sick are very slim because it doesn't have any chemicals in it. And it smells amazing. I There's not one product that I use. Hey, Michaela, there's not one product that I use that smells like crap or anything like that. And even my greens, like, what y'all have seen me drink this stuff. I drink it all the time. And every time I get a chance, I show y'all. But this stuff is like, it's green. And it's got seaweed and algae. And it's equivalent to like a couple of pounds of, look, that's just looking in there. A couple of pounds of raw spinach, a couple of pounds of kale. There's all kinds of stuff in here. 
And instead of buying vegetables, because I'm busy all the time, and I always let everything go bad and I have to hurry up and give it to the guinea pig, one scoop of this and a glass of water, I'm done. All of my antioxidants that I need to be looking pretty, all 13 berries, zinc, what else is in here? Aloe vera and protein, all in this little shot. Forget about it, like it's 13 berries. Most of these berries you can't even find in the United States. Um, done, done and done. So, I'm completely clear, I have a clean bill of health, and uh, I'm gonna show you how to take this daytime look into a nighttime look because I have that much energy and I'm that excited. So, as y'all know, I have some really cool stuff coming up with Morphe and Instagram and my YouTube channel. And I cannot wait until uh, I get back from this trip and the you get to see who I'm working with. I'm super excited. I wish I could tell y'all. I wish I could tell y'all because any of you who follow any of these makeup people on YouTube... Mm, you're gonna hate me. You're gonna fucking hate me. My own daughter's gonna hate me. But it's cool. Whatever. It is what it is. So I've already straightened my hair, as you see. I came home, I straightened my hair real quick. Um, threw the iron on it real quick. And so now I just threw some whatever on and got the hell out the door because I was running late, as usual. So now I'm gonna go in and I'm going to take this whatever look I'm gonna go for a little bit more of a fuller coverage and I'm going to go for a more smokier eye that still matches my outfit. And since it doesn't get dark until the wee hours of the night now, I can still wear my sunglasses and be cute. So let's get started. All right, so again, if you haven't got Miss Bretman Rock, I know y'all know him, slash her. This just became available a couple, I think like a week or so ago. I've had it for a while. Um, I brought it to y'all and showed it to y'all, I think like two days before it became available. It's amazing. It's fucking amazing. Like, he, he knocked it out of the park. Amazing. All right, so let me move my beauty nectar. Everything comes in a box. I have more boxes in this place than I know what to do with. Tomorrow is my birthday and I'm super excited. Super excited to get older. Who doesn't want to get older, right? We pretend. Pretend. That's what we do. We live in Never Never Land where we pretend that everything is super fantastic. And we never get old. All right. So... We're going to go a little bit darker and where's my concealer? Okay, we're going to go a little bit darker, a little bit smokier, and I really want to play with my kabuki brushes. I was telling y'all about them earlier and I want to bust them out and see what they're all about. And I'm going to be working with the Jaclyn Hill palette. And a little bit of the Morphe 35B Color Blast, or Color Burst. I always said Blast. Color Burst palette because they have some colors that Limelight doesn't offer. Um, so that's why I'm going to use them. So, and of course we got the beautiful Jaclyn Hill. All right. So let me get my brushes set up. And y'all can grab some coffee, grab some wine. I'm treating myself to Starbucks. Not tea either. I got the mocha. And I never drink caffeine. I never drink caffeine. I always get, like, chai. Which has a little bit of caffeine, but, like, to drink coffee? It's not me at all. I'm going to be up until tomorrow. Tonight. All right, so... I am going to be using the Kabuki brushes tonight. They're beautiful. They're amazing. 
They're so fucking pretty. I love them. Sorry about my language. Ouch, please. They're so, so pretty. I've used them. Um, I'm going to be here for a while. Um, I've used them once and I'm fixing to use them again and I can't wait. All right. And I'm going to be using my Morphe sponge as opposed to my Blenderful. Cordy, can you go wet that for me, please? Thank Are you. Cold. Uh, cold. Um, instead of using my Blenderful because my Blenderful already has my foundation color on it that I used earlier and I don't want to, I don't like doing that. I wash I wash my my brushes like twice a week, so I'll keep using that blenderful as long as I'm using that um, whatever that foundation color. So I can't decide between. You know what? I'm gonna do pink. I was gonna use Morphe's gel liners. I have them in blue, red, and gold. But on top of my black liner that I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do pink because that's what I'm wearing. That makes more sense. I love all my Morphe stuff. Morphe has been so good to me, by the way. I don't know how they found me or why they like me, but I'm not going to complain about it. I'd be retarded to complain about it. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to conceal out uh, part of my lids. I'm not doing a crease cut. Uh, it's going to look like that. For a little bit so I'm going in with my limelight number zero and again limelight is wax based so you definitely need to did you drain it mm -hmm. don't give it to me soaking wet I don't like that and I'm just gonna go over this hold on Jesus thank you uh, one of the nice little girls who used to watch you is watching my live right now you can actually say hi to her her name is Michaela Hello. look at Cordelia she's like super huge I, can't hang I am obsessed with brushes. You have no effing clue. I have seven sets, all professional. Yeah, I have the whole set here. And um, Morphe just keeps sending me all this stuff. I have a really cool thing going on with Morphe right now. And um, I can't say too much about it. But I'm super stoked about who I get to work with. Like... I'm probably more stoked about getting to work with this person than I am about meeting Marilyn Manson in August. Oh, Michaela, she used to watch you. Hello. Oh yeah, Cordelia's like all grown, tall, almost taller than me. A girl, I am taller than you. Not yet. You're short. She's almost taller than me. She's very short. I'm not that short, bitch. All right. Let me bust out some of my other brushes because wow. when it comes to doing my eyes, I'm a little bit of a snob. You have that? Have what? The highlighter brush. Girl, please. You don't come in my office oh enough. Oh my god. Put it down. That, that comes with Bretman Rock. Okay, I'm sorry. If you don't know, every time I do my makeup, I'm obsessed with highlighter. I cannot live without highlighter. Best friend right here. I love him. She's a queen of my heart. All right. So, you don't know what I know. You're always at school. And apparently don't pay attention to my Instagram or my Facebook. What do you mean? You should probably check my post. About? Different stuff. I'm busy right now. Oh. All right. Close the door, please. I don't want daddy's voice in the background. <laughs> All right. So I know y'all are thinking oh, this bitch is doing a cut crease and I'm really not. I promise. I promise. I promise. And I know it looks crazy to be going lighter when I'm going for an evening look, but trust me, I might know what I'm doing. Maybe. I might have learned something at Mac and Aveda. I'm just a little bit. Just a little. I'm going to bring that out some. 
But if you wanted to know how to do a cut grace, this is a super easy way to do it. But once you already have the colors on, it's kind of a pain in the ass. Because if you get any bit of the color that you have on, on your brush, and you're trying to cut through like this, and drag it out, you always want to drag it out some. Um, just so you have a guideline. Um, it can be a pain in the ass because if you get any kind of color on this brush, like right now, it's not just foundation. It's like got the, the eyeshadow I was wearing earlier. But instead of taking it off and starting all over, F it, I'm going to do my brushes tonight anyways. So I just said fuck it and do what I want. But if you're doing a cut crease, definitely put on your primer. Have a really good primer too. And definitely put on your concealer that you're going to have for the cut and work around underneath your hood and in the crease. And make sure you're using products that don't have a lot of fallout. If they do, make sure you're shaking that shit off and you save yourself a lot of time. So, because nobody wants to go back and fix everything. Nobody got time for that. What is my son talking about? He wants to be tased? He wants to join the military like his sister. But he doesn't want to go to the Air Force. He's trying he tried to tell me he wants to go to the Army. I said, I will break your fucking legs while you're sleeping. Navy or Air Force? We ain't doing no Marines, no, no Army. We ain't doing that here. Not that kind of show. So any of y'all who watch Brett or Manny or Jacqueline or Lauren or Jeff Freestar or any of those famous, awesome, amazing queens, you might know what I'm already fixing to do. Just going right underneath back away so I can see in the light too my light my big freaking ring light is not working and apparently I had to order the bulb from like I don't even freaking know where but it's not from here anywhere all right so I said I'm going from daytime to nighttime right and then I like lighten up my whole face there's a method to my madness I totally promise method to my madness oh yes indeed okay so while i'm letting that dry a little i like to let it oh walter you're speaking my language me and you should get together yeah i love eco tools that i think that was the first big set that i bought and i know i i bought Maddie found them at Walmart, and then I found, like, the whole freaking set at um, Sephora and Ulta, and I was like, Maddie, these are the best things ever, and since I've gone to school, and since I've been working in this business now for just under a year, I have, all I collect is brushes. I'm all about some brushes. I even have two of the Limelight, like, professional classified set brushes. This doesn't go in there. This doesn't go in there. I just put brushes everywhere. Um, I bought two of these and I take them everywhere. I have so many brushes, but I love them and I love them all for all different reasons. And, um, it helps whenever I'm doing like conventions and stuff because I, the more brushes, the more people I can do at one time before I have to stop and sanitize. Like I spray my palettes with sanitizer uh, Beauty So Clean is really, really good for preserving your sanitizers. I mean, sanitizing, your, excuse me, your palettes. And you spray it right onto your palette. And it saves it for, like, ever. And, um, I use Beauty So Clean. And I use Cinema Secrets for my brushes. And I have, like, Beauty So Clean back here somewhere. Here we go. Uh, this is what I spray... When I'm doing clients one after another, I spray this on the brushes and I also spray it on the palette. So I keep going 
And I even carry a little spray bottle of alcohol uh, for my hands and I spray them on the brushes as well. Um, because when you're doing like so many people in one day, it can be a bit much. All right, so if you haven't seen this palette, you might not be a makeup junkie. You might not be my favorite queen either. So, these are the beautiful colors. I'm gonna show you the back first because I just love the way Morphe just really captured Jacqueline in this hill. I mean, Jacqueline in this hill. Jacqueline in this palette. Everything is so effing beautiful. It's great, I love it. And there's like every single color you could possibly want. We have some shimmers, because everybody loves some shimmers. We have neutral colors, we have warm colors, we have dark colors, we have vibrant colors. I love it. Love, 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 love it. I am going to use some of this palette in just a minute. But the first one that I wanna use is my favorite palette of all time from Morphe. And that is this one. I know I take up so much of y'all's time opening and putting my stuff back together. I'm so sorry. But right now I'm probably just going to switch looks and then I'll put everything up afterwards because I do spend a lot of time. Um, but I'm a nut job, neurotic freak about putting my stuff back where it goes. All right. So Morphe, they don't need to be glamorous. They don't need to be like shiny and all that jazz they're morphine they're phenomenal and here we go they're not wanting to open so obviously i bought this i love my limelight don't get me wrong but limelight doesn't give me this for 23 dollars. are you kidding me what yes so let's dig in sorry i get excited I get super excited about makeup. If you would have told me, I swear to God, I know I say that 500 times a day, but if you would have told me at any point in my life, this would be what I would be doing. Hey, Julie, I would have like checked your veins for needles of heroin or something. All right. So I am going to go in with this little guy first. All right. So I'm taking my daytime look into nighttime. I'm going to do my eyes first and then I'm gonna work on my face. So, right now I'm working with the Morphe palette 30, um, was it 35B? And it's called the Color Burst palette. Obviously it's got a shitload of colors. And I'm gonna spray my brush. All right. So I know y'all are thinking that I probably ate Crack Rocks for lunch while I went out uh, because I said I'm taking my daytime look into a nighttime look and then I lightened up everything. So let's make this make a little bit more sense. So say I was to keep this flashy color on still. Um, we got a color for that. All right. I need to get some freaking music in this office. Once I can actually have my office back, like me and Maddie leave on Saturday. And then she goes to Virginia and God only knows when I'm gonna see her again, probably not until the holidays. That's the military life. But we're very blessed to have gotten to spend this two and a half weeks with her even though she's been working like while she's been here she's been working at the recruiting office taking people downtown and doing all that fun stuff so it hasn't been a complete vacation for her but we enjoy it So 
So I hope y'all have some like really cool Easter plans because me and Maddie are going to be on the road and we're going to be spending Easter <laughs> by ourselves in Mobile, Alabama. Oh yeah. Roll Tide, right? But I made sure to get a hotel right across the street from the mall. Hopefully they'll be open. Probably not, but we're hoping. If God can grant us one wish, we wish that the mall be open. The mall doesn't close for Easter, does it? I don't think so. Is anybody answering me? Oh, Morphe? Oh, I'm so glad I swiped back. Hey, girl. So, Morphe is amazing color burst yes and it is only 23 dollars for all 18 colors it's stupid it's stupid 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 crazy um but they're phenomenal they're just as pigmented they're 50 percent or maybe even a little more um than the limelight and i love my limelight don't get me wrong but limelight doesn't give me this Limelight doesn't give me this. Limelight doesn't give me that. Or the Jaclyn Hill palette or the Bretman Rock highlight and contour. We don't even have highlight and contour stuff with Limelight. So it's not that I'm cheating on Limelight. It's that I'm a makeup artist. So obviously I'm going to try other stuff. But if I need some color, like look at what I'm wearing today. We don't have a color in Limelight that matches this. So you got to venture out. $23, this palette's going to freaking last you forever, and you cannot beat the colors. And I know you, Julie, you're like me. Classic rock, dis like disco, like, yes. You need these colors in your life. Everyone needs these colors in their life. All right, so we're taking my daytime look that I had that was just a little bit like barely there, and we're going to make it more of an evening look. Tomorrow's my birthday. I have nowhere to be. So, I think I'm gonna open a bottle of wine tonight, especially with all my good news. Mojair has like legitimately taken me off of all 19 my medications and that rocks my freaking world. I, I'm just like, Ooh, I messaged Christina, the lady that I'm signed up under and just amazing mentor and friend. And I told her and she was like, girl, what? And she's on a freaking cruise in the middle of the island somewhere. And um, I was like, yes, like they took me off of everything, everything. And she was like, oh, my God. So I'll probably be doing a video about that um, whenever she comes back. I have all my bottles to show y'all. And I got the dates and the pills in them for the naysayers. You know, we always got haters. And that's okay. That means you're doing something right. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Somebody sing to me. I know how to sing, but I'm not going to sing to y'all. No way, Jose. I want, almost got it to the lightness that I want right here. I'm going really, really light on my inner, cor inner corner here. Cause I'm gonna smoke it out on the in on the outer. Oh, say can you see? No, girl, that's not the kind of singing I'm talking about. And get the f out, like no, no. <laughs> My journey. Thank you. 
Um, it's definitely an eccentric one. I'll make sure to give you the first copy of the book. Well, my mom has been granted the first copy of the book whenever I finally publish it. My original uh, due date for the first book was in December, but due to my dad's death, that didn't happen. And I'm slowly starting to get to where I can write again and tell my story and um, all of that stuff. And yes, and I miss our time spending together. And, you know, I always felt weird as a teacher because I was like so young, but not to sound like Lady Gaga, which I love her by the way, but I was born this way. And I come across all these interesting people and I just love keeping in touch with such magnetic and eccentric people and I totally 1000% believe that in some way we meet these people for a reason. And every single person that you come in contact with, even if it's the old lady bitching at the manager at Walmart, you know, if you just put pat her on the shoulder, she might backhand you or she might just be really needing some human connection. And I think that that's with technology. So many people have gotten so far away from human connection that it's really sad. And it, it's scientifically proven that we function better as humans and we're more happy and endorphins and dopamine and serotonin and all of this stuff is being released whenever we have human connection. So it, it, I just don't understand why people just don't like be happy and reach out and touch each other and not go run to NBC about it and be like all oh, trying to get money. I'm so over the freaking news and these, I'm sure some of them are valid points. I'm not saying that all women like cry wolf all the time. I'm just saying that maybe somebody's just trying to pay you a compliment sometimes. And maybe you shouldn't be so darn sensitive. I can't watch the news. It's too freaking depressing. Even as an activist, uh, I get my news sources from other places, uh, the Dodo, Riot News, um, I, you're not going to catch me watching Fox, CNN, MSNBC, none of that crap. Because it, they'll play the same story on all three networks and tell it three different ways. It's like reading the Bible and reading Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. They all went down the same journey, but they're four totally different stories. So um, I like to get my news from people that aren't in it for money. They aren't in it for notoriety. They're in it for just making people aware of what's going on in the world around them. And that I respect a whole heck of a lot more than somebody who's trying to make a name for themselves and make a paycheck. I don't do this to make a paycheck. I do it because it's something that my friend introduced to me and I find it to be very fun. And the fact that I happen to make money doing it, it's just a perk. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus or whoever's out there. I'm very spiritual. Um, so, hopefully I don't offend anybody. Alright, so I'm going in with a darker color. What the hell is Paul talking about? He's out, he's out in the living room and him and Draven are having this very intense conversation about this show. Clay used to watch this show. Um, Red versus Blue or something like that. And they're like really in that conversation. They're like in it. I can hear them. I, like the office and my room are the very last rooms in the back of the house. And we're a corner lot. So the house is pretty big. But I'm not one for like big furniture and all that stuff. So um, everything kind of echoes. Because we or the house is decorated modernly, so like I don't know what he's talking about, but it sounds like he's on a megaphone. I'm going to the freaking eyebrow bar tomorrow. I promise y'all, don't have to look at this weird shit anymore. Maddie went to Pasadena to go see Clay and his parents one more time before we leave. And she needs to go too. So I was like, okay, I'll wait for you. 
this time. I'll wait for you this time. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with my poofy brush and wet this one. Again, the reason that I wet my brushes is um, you save a lot of your product this way. Um, and it's also, it makes it a little bit more easier to work with and it stays put because what I'm spraying on here is my finishing spray. Who's barking? All right. A little bit darker. I remember when you're doing a smoky eye, you don't have to worry about like, oh my God, that doesn't look right. It doesn't do. Uh, this is like what the third or fourth color I'm putting on. I don't even remember anymore because I started talking about politics. Ugh. But um, it's supposed to be creative. It's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be like an extension of you. And if you can get it to match your clothes, well, that's cool. But if not, like, just fucking rock it. Like, it's not that serious. It's makeup. And if you're really that sensitive about it, like, take it off and start over. But please believe, if my ass can learn how to do makeup, are you kidding me? Miss Eyeliner, Mascara, and Chapstick... And like, not just any chapstick, like the Blistex medicated one, the green one. I was super snotty about my freaking chapstick I used. That is redonkulous, by the way. Um, just own it. Own it, like just do it. Now, I have a million brushes. A million brushes, like no joke with a million brushes. Um, but I don't think I will ever use another blending brush other than this one. I love this. This guy is my bet. This guy is my pal. Love you. I hope I, I love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. Hugs mm, and this. kisses. Don't touch my colors, girl. I like this emerald green. All right. So for those of you just joining, I'm taking my barely there. I was in a hurry to get to the doctor look <laughs> to an evening look. Um, and I'm doing a colorful smoky eye that would match my blouse. And I want to keep a lot of this depth. Once you start like really just dabbling and digging in, I'm not going to say dabble. Once you start really like digging in with the colors and like feeling comfortable with what you're doing, Shadows, people. You kind of already, you don't really have to blend that much. But when you're starting out, if your eyeshadow looks like whack as if, and you're like, oh my god, I have colors all over the place, like what am I even doing? Don't worry about it. Because if your eyeshadow looks like janky and lines all over the place, once you blend it, it'll make sense. So don't worry about that. Believe in your color scheme. The best thing I can tell everybody is to understand color theory. Understand your color theory and you cannot go wrong. So, I'll get off that soapbox now. Alright, so I'm going to go back in with this brush. I'm working with my Kabuki brushes today because I haven't got to play with them all that much. And I'm super excited about it. So, because we're going for a darker look... We're going from daytime to evening. I'm gonna put the darker color that I put right here, this last color that I put. I'm gonna smudge that across the bottom of my eye. And I'm gonna drag it out here. And you can draw the lines if you want. This is how they teach you in school how to learn how to do makeup for y'all. You know, if you ever watch like, So You Think You Can Dance, or you watch any kind of those Dancing with the Stars or whatever, and they're like, oh my god, they have beautiful lines. Everything in life is geometrical. 
everything. Um, so, and then once you fin once you don't need your guideline anymore, then you just go like this, and you buff it away. Buff it away. But that's how you know that everything is even. There you go. And now we're going to do the same to the other side. I need more. I need more liquid. I need more liquid. All right. A freaking guinea pig. I think he could eat a horse. If I, if I could fit a horse in the guinea pig's cage, I think he'd eat it. What are you staring at me for? I could see you. Are you going to Yeah. Oh, you do? No, I'm just doing my makeup in my phone because it's cool. Hey, can I talk about something tomorrow? I have an idea. What's your idea? That maybe, maybe, just maybe. Aliens exist? No, that we go to a gun range. What? Yeah, I'm old enough. And Kitty decided she wanted to go bowling. She did? Yep. Let's go. Let's it's my birthday, and I'm like, go. hey, what do you want to do? You want to go to? I wanted to go to the ramen bar because I feel like we bowl for everything. Because bowling is fun. Why are we going to the ramen bar? Kitty don't want to go. But I was thinking, like, maybe we go to a gun range. I, I can shoot my first gun. I can go against Kitty. You know, it'd be fun. You know, Daddy doesn't like guns. I'm all for them. I mean, I kind of had to grow up with them. Dad but. said it was up to you. It's your birthday. I would love to take my dad's gun and go shoot it. Why don't we? I'll call in the morning. Cool. Because I know I'm old enough, but I don't know about Cordy. Anybody can shoot a gun as long as they got parental guidance. Cordy, though? She's only 10. So, um, I started learning how to shoot a gun at a range when I was like five. That was the first time I remember. Well, like, we would have to do that after bowling. No, we're not doing both, fool. I have to drive eight hours the next day. I know, but it's your birthday and we want to do fun stuff. Kitty is spending the day with Dorinda. She's only coming at night for us. We already discussed this. Okay. And Daddy has to work. Not everybody's off. Then maybe we can go to a gun range another day, maybe? I'm always down to go to a gun range. Bitch, I'm full of rage. I'm always down to go to a gun range. I've never been and I wanted to go and I think it would be cool to go with somebody like Kitty who knows how to shoot a gun and dad. Why don't we go to the ramen bar? But like daddy have never gone. She doesn't want to go. And we're celebrating her going away and my birthday as well. And her birthday because she's not going to be here. Maddie was supposed to be born two days before my birthday. And she was late, just like the rest of them. Oh, everybody always asks when they see me put my liner on uh, what liner I'm using and how I can do it in the phone backwards and with one hand. It is Limelight's Perfect Liner. It's a liquid liner. It doesn't smudge. It's waterproof. And it doesn't drip. Like, I was a huge fan of Kat Von D. But she makes a mess, and then your eyes are watering, and you look like crap. I don't want that. So I'm going to let that dry for a moment, and I'm going to switch palettes. Alright. Okay, y'all, I'm sorry. I can't put them up later. I have to do it, like, when I'm doing it. Call it OCD. Call it cray-cray. Don't the people hate it when you just have conversations with us? Or no? They don't care. No. People don't care. The Myra was actually shocked that y'all, and even Daddy, she was like, when I saw Paul in a live, I was like, what? Yeah, we don't really care what you do. It's your life. We're not going to restrict you from doing something you love. They say that now because I make money doing it. I don't care about the money you make. <laughs> they say that now. When I first started I doing this, oh. they were like really embarrassed. They were like, Mom, you're old. What are you doing on Facebook making live videos? All right, so now I'm going to switch over to Jacqueline for one color. So I will buy a palette for one color, especially for the price. You cannot beat it. And the color that I'm coming over here to use, well, shoot. Hold it up. Is this guy right here. It is called 
cranberry or cran apple. No, you read the wrong one. What? It's over here. Goofy. Obsessed. There it is. I was like, I know it's a shimmer. It's a shimmer. It's a shimmer. It's a shimmer. I was wondering if one of my friends could spend the night because we're not going to have time in, during the week. Uh, no. Tomorrow's my birthday. Okay. That's a, absolutely a hell no. Hell no, fool. All right. So I'm going to take this dark cranberry shimmer and I'm going to go right in the dome with it. Oof. In the dome. Come on, Jack. Jack, I need you to give me some. It's it giving you a lot. It's really not, though. All right. So I want this on. You can pull taut up here. Okay, I'll leave it to it. And I want to really drag it down here. And it just gives it just a little, you see the difference? Adding one color, took it from this pinkish purplish color to like this more dark evening cranberry looking color. Now I have a cranberry color with all the 50 palettes I have. I have a cranberry color, but you can't make a smoky eye with one color. So, and I'm one for totally building, especially if I have time. Like right now, I ain't got shit to do. I hang out here with y'all. I ain't got nothing to do. Oh, they're cleaning Turbo's cage. That means the guinea pig's gonna be running around the house. And Tiger, the cat, our first cat that we ever got. Well, she loves when that happens. All right, and we wanna make it really dark right here. We're gonna just lightly go over the ha this half the outer half of the white just like that and I'm just dusting over it I still want the white to show through a little, but not a lot. Just like so. All right, next, we can put Jacqueline up. I just needed her for one color. Thank you, boo-boo. I love you, Jackie. Jackie. So that, well, fuck. Sorry, y'all. But if y'all know me, y'all know I go like a sailor. Oh, man. I'm from the bayou. What else am I supposed to do? So, if you're just joining, thank you. I love you. Um, I am taking my earlier daytime hurry up, get out soccer mom look. And we're turning it into a nice evening. What the F is going on here? A nice evening look. Still wearing the same clothes because I'm wearing black all underneath here. I know you can't see. There we go. Puff my chest like a peacock. Um, I'm wearing all black underneath this bright pink. Um, what do you call these things? Cardigans? So, again, the two palettes that I've used. Jaclyn Hill, which is superb. Absolutely amazing. Love, 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 love. What the? I'll fix that shit later. I ain't got time for that. 35B, which is Morphe's color burst palette. Definitely freaking worth it. If you're gonna, if there's a Morphe palette that you're gonna buy for color value, uh, the 35B the color burst is definitely the one that you want. Hey, Art. Thank you so much. I'm just. Spending the night before my birthday with y'all. 
just tomorrow and all the way through April 9th, I'm going to be totally unavailable. Um, tomorrow I'm spending the day with the family and the evening and then me and Maddie got to get on the road Saturday morning and I'll be in Georgia until April 7th. No, April 6th I'm flying in and then I have my birthday party on the 7th. Hopefully I'll get to sleep on the 8th and be more available on the 9th. That is my plan. Will it work that way? Probably fucking not, but I'm hopeful. So I'm gonna go in with Limelight's liner number three. Don't ask me what color it is, I forgot. I've had it for so long. Um, I wanna say it's Berry Berry. Don't quote me on that. And I wanna go over, not on, but very lightly over the black liner. And it'll blend into this darkness out here. All right. Just like that. I just finished cleaning Triple's cage. Did you actually throw away his shit this time? Yeah. All right. <gasps> this is what I always use for my highlight. No, we have Bretman Rock now. I can use that now? Hell fuck no. So I'll do this. <laughs> Nobody touches my Morphe stuff. So uh, now I use this. Even that, like we're sold out of it, so like. This is mine, y'all. I'm the only person that uses this. You are smoking some serious dope at the I'm elementary school. I'm the only school. person that uses this. Cordy, I just used it earlier today. All right. So, I like it more than you do. Now. I live for highlight. I'm actually going to take this palette. And I'm going to go under my eyes. I use it as highlighter. Well, now I have bread, so. Because, look, let me. No, stop. You're effing with my live, and I don't like it. So, I'm going to go in with rose color. Or what's this one called again? I believe it's rose colored glasses. Mom, it's rose gold. No, like they have special names that she gave them. Okay, well, I don't know what special names are. Madison and Michelle at Limelight come out with the coolest names, I swear. And this is from our Bare Metals collection. Which you can actually start buying individual ones. I think at the end of this month. Alright. So that's that. And now I'm going to grab my white liner. And then I am going to move on to my face. There's just a couple of things that I'm going to do to my face. Oh, what the flex is going on? I love when they put my pencils in here upside down and I can't find nothing. Look, y'all been falling down. Hmm. Hey, Steph. All right. So, I'm gonna take, well, first I'm gonna wipe this bitch off. It's dirty. Dirty AF. I have so many rags and towels. I'm usually going over my black eyeliner with this, so it's got some black on it. All right, this is NYX. It's white. And I'm going to drag this right on. Yo, what? I look awesome. Uh-uh, girl, those sunglasses are worth more than your life. <clears throat> and you need to put them down. How much are they? Ninety-five dollars. I am worth more than that. I know, but it, it sounded really cool when I said it. <laughs> what are Daddy and Draven doing? They've been freaking yelling like well, this whole playing Rocket League. This whole live. What's Rocket League? Oh, that thing where that I suck at driving on? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think I might have inherited that from you because I suck at it. Give me Tekken. Give me Zelda. Give me Mario. Give me Tetris. Pong. 
give me some of that shit. Like, this new games that they got out right now, I'm not for. Uh-uh, girl. What? Put my drink down. You're probably not even going to finish it. I am. I'm almost done with my look. Normally, after you get Starbucks, you drink half of it and then give me the rest. Well, I don't normally drink caffeine, but maybe you won't get lucky this time. Hey, I, I hope I do. Look, Stephanie's laughing at us. Mm -hmm. Hey, Key. So, uh, I know I look a little vampirish right now. It's because I've um, taken my daytime look into a nighttime look, and I'm starting with the eyes. I haven't done my face yet. I have very minimal makeup on my face. Watch out, girl. Very minimal makeup on my face. Nobody has a pretty mascara. Limelight's mascara is kick ass. And I'm not just saying that because I use their stuff. Like, it's really good. I am obsessed and in love with the Bare Metals pal collection thingy. I'm not an expert at this stuff, so I don't know what it's called, but I love it. Bare Metals collection. I I've, use it for highlights. It says it right there on the no, thing. No, it doesn't. This is Bare Metals collection, but I wasn't reading this. This is the lid. But no, I'm obsessed with it. And I, I still it. put the freaking bow on there that they sent, like, for Christmas because it was a collection that came out during Christmas. Yeah, why are you keeping the bow on there? I put everything back in the box. I put the bow back on. Yo, you All of the Christmas stuff. Like, my ornament is, like, hanging on the wall of my lip my lipstick duo. I'm a nerd. I'm a nerd. You guys. Or. What? These. They're oh. from my Christmas play. Uh huh. But the be I looked awesome in my little jacket, and no one saw that. My Modere, by the way, has my hair. Look at look how shiny it is. I'm like all up in y'all's business. I had an awesome outfit for my I'm gonna need you play. not to touch my hair. Move, move. Awesome outfit, honestly. And my eye... And no one had seen What are outfit. these things called? Lashes? <laughs> my eye... Your eye? My eyelashes, my eyebrows, my hair. Everything is just shiny and growing, and I love it. Okay. So, I've done what I want to do to my eye, Right? So now I need to like fix my face because I ain't got shit on it. Got nothing. Oh, you got oh, you got that too. Get away. That's my dinner. Your dinner is a lemon loaf? Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> Scooby Natural is on. Oh my god. Dad Daddy and Draven ain't watching no damn supernatural? Alright, so again, I'm going back to my limelight. I'm going to be using a darker shadow uh, a foundation. And so they're wax based, so you definitely have to warm it up. And since I already have the color on my finger, I may as well just put it on there, right? And again, I'm using my Morphe one because I don't want to, I have another foundation color on my blenderful and i know y'all are like bitch you are orange work with me here okay i'm not going to be orange in a minute what are you doing patricia i hear you patita I hear you, Patita. Patricia Kathleen. I hear you. So this is the difference between translucent, just quick on the go foundation, and a lighter shade. And this is more of the full coverage. So this is a darker shade, and it's more evening, more evening like. And 
So this is the difference. This is like what I wore during the day, which I really don't care because I'm not really ever going anywhere. And this is more evening. So take a look at the difference. Boom, boom, because I'm pretty sure I don't know. If there's a way to take pictures during lives, I don't know how to do it. And so the color that I'm using right now is the color that I use whenever my skin is darker. So whenever you do that, you want to make sure. Mom, look at Patricia, look at Patricia. She's so Hold cute. on, she's so I can cute. hear her. Oh, she's so cute. You gotta, what are you dropping? I like, didn't drop nothing. honestly, yes, you did. You dropped my kabuki cover. You say kabuki wrong. Kabuki, kabuki. Kabuki, kabuki. Kabuki, kabuki, kabuki. So you always want to drag it down, right? And sometimes if I'm using like a crazy color, uh, especially like for Halloween and stuff, I would drag that shit to my ears. And normally, if I was doing this myself, you can see all my new hair growth from the Modere. If I was doing this myself, I would have been done like 5,000 years ago. But because I'm like going through step by step, it takes a little longer. All right. So I'm done with that. I'm gonna take uh, concealer number four, which is really dark. And I'm just gonna carve out a little bit more of my already carved out cheeks. Thank you, Modere. And I'm using Limelight's concealer number four right now. Just look at that cut, that's pretty. Cut it, girl. Cut it. You know, I think it really sucks that the kids are off on my birthday. I feel like I could, like, go day, day drinking somewhere. Everybody's giving me free shit for my birthday anyway. Like, I feel like I should, like, capitalize on that. But no. My birthday falls on Good Friday this year. So I gotta be good. That's what they tell me. But I'm a wine collector, so <laughs> there's that. And I'm just gonna put some up here. Oh yeah. And even though I haven't done my eyebrows yet, I'm gonna go ahead and do them because my look won't look the same without them done. I'm gonna look like, okay bitch, did you get lazy on me? Hey, thank you. I'm still here working. I was telling everyone if I was if I was just to do, come in here and do it on my own, like I would have been done already. But uh, speaking of Walter, Walter, you need to come to my birthday party. It's my coming out party. It's also um, we're having we're going to the drag show downtown, and then we're going to Riches. It's like right up your alley. So you need to like get off work, tell them bitches to buy their cigarettes somewhere else and come to my party. Just saying, it's gonna be fun. So back to me. I'm almost done y'all, I promise. I'm just spending the night with y'all because there's something going on out there that I don't wanna be a part of. All right, I'm gonna move my water. I have, if y'all knew how big this freaking desk was, I swear to God, y'all would think I was crazy. I gotta like move shit over here. Way too much crap. It's not crap though. I love it. I'm gonna leave that line there for a minute. I like to let things dry. We're gonna come up under here.
and just cut it right up there. Everything always needs to be right here. Um, in school, they'll even tell you to put like a piece of paper or something right there. And you could go to town over the paper. But like, if you want to be dramatic, like for my birthday, I'll probably be dramatic and like flare it all out. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, April 7th. I will totally. I invited you. Do you get your notifications, dude? Um, but yeah, it's going to be at uh, the Guava Lamp on Saturday, April the 7th at 10 o'clock. I have booths reserved. I have my outfit hanging in the closet. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. It's going to be phenomenal. It's going to be extravagant, which is what I love. So, for the makeup impaired, well, all I'm doing right now, very sloppily, is making my nose appear longer than it really is. If I wanted to make it look skinnier, which I don't because I have a really cute nose, um, you, I would bring it down to here. But because my nose is so short and my face is getting longer because I'm losing weight, I want to make my nose look proportionate to my face. And so that's what I did. What? Are you serious? Woo -hoo! So we were supposed to have it on the Saturday and then the freaking um, Air Force told Maddie and she had to be in Virginia April 2nd. And they'll only let her, we can only drive 500 miles a day. So I'm like, fuck, it's going to take three days to get there. So I was like, okay. So I had to move my party to the 7th. It just means I get to have my birthday party. My birthday, like, I get to celebrate it a week longer. All right, so I'm going to get Bretman ready. He's my honey. I love him. She's beautiful. All right, so while that's getting ready, I'm going to go ahead and come over here with... So Morphe's brush is pretty gnarly in all the dimensions that it has. And I'm gonna come, not that side, this side. On the side that I haven't used yet. And I'm gonna blend this down. I'm just gonna pull it down and it goes right in. Um, I prefer using cream to cut my cheek. I prefer using cream contour all around really um it's just a preference of mine but then bretman rock came and rocked my world so i'm gonna bust her out because she's gorgeous and i love her so if you don't know who bretman rock is i suggest you get off of my facebook live right now and go google because Fabulosity. Fabulosity. All right, where's my angled kabuki? I keep grabbing my damn. I don't want the flat one. I keep grabbing my damn regular brushes I always use. Whatever. It'll be fine. So I'm going in with Shady Bitch first. Because we're going in. This is the darker of the colors. So here's the palette, and I'm going in with this guy down here where my pinky is. And it's just so dramatic, and watch. I know y'all thinking like, what the hell that bitch is do? That's a country shit right there. Uh, I'm gonna blend it out, so don't y'all worry. Don't y'all fret about Brett. I think I've said that like on so many of my YouTube videos. And I said it on Instagram the other day. And he was like, I'm going to put that on a t-shirt. I said, you can do whatever you want, boo-boo. Do whatever you want. It's your palette. Not mine. All right. So before I go and put the highlight on there, 
before people start freaking out. Um, blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna take the flat brush. I love this flat brush. It is phenomenal. It's super soft, but just stiff enough to like get in there and like work that shit out. Of course, I'm not that coordinated on this side. My hand doesn't work that well. Get over here, my hand gets all like retarded. There we go. Slow the fog down. All right. All right, so we like that. I'm gonna take a little bit of that shady bitch. Shady bitch. Actually, I'm gonna get, I like to do get laid on my nose. And it's not like get laid like, uh -uh -uh -uh. it's get laid like I'm from Hawaii. Cause that's where he's from. So get your mind out the gutter. This palette is life. This palette is freaking life. Oh my God, y'all. Love it. Love it. Oh, I can't wait to get this palette on some clients' faces. I love transforming other people Especially men. Oh my god. You have no idea. Life. Gotta take the light away. So you, look how shiny that is. What? I wish I had my ring light here. I wish I had my ring light here. Oh, Stephanie, you're gonna have so much fun. You have no idea. I don't do my whole chin, I just go right here. Yeah. I do from here, from the biggest points of my lip down. Hey, I don't need a soundtrack, can you close the door? Sorry. And then of course, Cupid. Gotta get Cupid in there. Life. Fuck. Fucking life. This palette might be the smartest thing I've ever bought. Awesomest thing of all time. Limelight, y'all need to step it up. Step it up, please, cause this is where it's at. What? You can't F with this palette. All right, so we need to put some highlight up on the top of my stuff, I know. All right, so I'm actually going to go in with Vacation, which is another one that I use a lot of. Why is the freaking light so big? So it's the one in the middle at the top row. All right. I don't know what the hell they're doing out there, but they're fucking noisy. Life. Hold on, I have to check myself out in the mirror. Freaking life. And then I'm going in with baby girl, just to kind of lighten this up down here. And just a little bit up here. Y'all, this palette, like, if you're having a bad day, get online, go to morphebrushes.com and order this freaking palette and just bring out your inner 
chicness because like this palette gives you freaking life I'm digging it all right last but not least so Brett being the genius that she is came out with a fabulous fan brush that's actually thick um, normally you don't get thickness out of fan brushes and they suck um, and nobody likes a sucky brush no so I'm gonna blend these out and of course we always spray our um, finishing spray before we put our highlight on so we don't weigh it down oh fuck my brows this is some ugly hose right now bowling I don't know I like how y'all are trying to take over my birthday we're trying to decide as a family mom Patricia oh. Cordelia, honestly, oh step away from my stuff, please. This stuff is way too much money in here for you to just be dropping big ass liter bottles of water everywhere. I didn't drop a liter. What did I drop? What was up there? My water bottle was up there earlier. Did you already drop that? No, I didn't. The only thing I dropped was my phone. And that landed on a thing. Okay, yeah. You gotta love those things. Mom, look. Awesome, yes, hold on. I'm almost done. I've had these people in here for like three hours. I'm happy with it. Go over my lashes one more time. Your thing is like turned into water. It's fine. I will drink it because I can. I know what's gonna happen. You're gonna end up not finishing it and then I'm gonna drink it. <coughs> this is what always happens. And this is the better than sex mascara that I'm using. I like it when I want a more clumpy look. Is it better than sex? I'm not gonna answer that question with you, little 10 year old girl. All right. One more little doomahickey. I love you, Bratman. Rock, my God, I love you. Watch, I'm gonna head over to Instagram and like, she's gonna come on and be like, girlfriend. I know, right? Dust it off. All right. Uh, why is my dad like all crazy? There he goes. Now he's right. All right, we're almost done. Oh, that's beautiful. Huh? That's beautiful. Me? Oh, that. Bretman Rock is life. That's why. If y'all don't have this, it just became available like two weeks ago. Y'all need to get your asses out and buy it. I'm not a huge powder contour person. Brett gives you life. Brett gives you freaking life. And six amazing colors. All cleverly named. And he gives you this nice fan brush that's actually thick and not thin. I hate fan brushes. Me and Maddie are obsessed. Those are professional. That's why I was... Uh I know it's professional, but I don't want to put it back in here because then like it starts fraying. Don't oh, worry. I love that band. And then I'm going to also love painting at the disco. So. I like Marilyn Manson, Courtney Love. <clears throat> Two very different people. I know my hair looks like very boyish right now, but hold up one second. All right. So I'm going to spray my face. While that's drying, I am going to do my lips. I'm actually gonna do my lips with two different lip liners and no lipstick at all, right? Because that's what we like to do. Where is the glow? It's a big freaking silver circle. There we go. 
All right, so I'm gonna be using Glam Glow, which I love. Just to moisten my lips a little and give it a little bit of uh. Okay, this is Glam Glow lip balm. Duh. No, there are different things of glam, glam Glow. I'm pretty sure if I'm working with my lips, my friends are not retarded. Hater's gonna hate. I'm not oh, a hater. Oh, fuck, I put red up and I need to put the rest of my highlight on. So I'm actually gonna start with the darker liner on the outside, and this is our limelight number seven. It's called Cabernet. The only lip liner that I'm, like, lip, lip lipstick that I'm allowed to use from Limelight is Salted Caramel. Because all the ones that I like, my mom says, are too dark. You're 10. Also, what was that thing that you posted that you wanted me to see? I couldn't find anything. Look at that. Lip liner, not lipstick. I gotta be in creative. And this, oh, sorry. This is our number five, and this is called Grape. Why does it say Grape? It doesn't tell you. You just have to kind of know the products that you sell. It's kind of part of uh, having your business. You may want to know your inventory. Mm -hmm. I like it to look a little juicy and kind of... Uh, sadistically bloody in the middle so I don't do the middle on purpose because it gives it this nice glow and whenever the light hits it it's like BAM I'm here I came to party what about you what about you yes thank you play with that makeup Play with that makeup. Don't send me any money right now. Hold on to it because I'm going to be traveling. And if it gets mixed in, I can't. Because I have a credit union, it's not anywhere out of Texas. Hell, I'm in Kingwood and I have to drive 30 minutes to the nearest show federal. Um, so, in the event that I go to the Mystic Grill and get like way tipsy, I don't want to be spending money. So, don't do that. You play with that makeup and I want pictures. We need to get together so I can do, like, one-on-ones on, on y'all. And y'all can, like, I'll let y'all play with my face. Just make sure you're using legit products. Like, I'll bring all my shit, y'all bring y'all shit, and we have a party. Right. <sighs> y'all are gonna be... If you go to my birthday party, Walter, you're gonna be like, Who is this bitch? Like, where the hell did this shit come from? Death is a crazy thing and I have had a lot of time to reflect on you know having been a parent to my parents and my siblings my entire life and then being like a really young mom and just like always having to do what everybody said I know Brett but he doesn't care if I pull him out again she loves it um so, watch out, honey. We may have a little bit more in common than you think. All right, so uh, I'm going to go in with vacation. So I like to go over it after I've already put on my setting spray because I don't like to, I want it to shine. When I hit that club and those lights hit me, I want it here and here, right? You already have a lot on your nose, so don't put it. No, I'm not putting any on my nose. My nose is done. There's already a lot on those. It's beautiful. I know I'm off screen, but I have my big mirror over here and I can see better. So y'all just wait a minute. <laughs> Hold tight, motherfucker. Yes. Look at that. Can y'all see? Bam. That's my, that's a light reflecting off my glowy face. Shut the front door. It's too much. I love it. 
Shut the front door. You're so extra. You even put the plastic over it. I am. And she's putting it back in the plastic. I will do this 500 fucking times. Like, if I pull it out that many times, that's how many times I'm going to put it back in the box. And then I have to put it in its stack. Everything has its place. It's called OCD. I'm sure you've heard of it. It's okay. You have an awfully messy desk for someone who has OCD. Well, that's because your sister's here. True. All right. So, while... I straightened my hair while I was off camera and um, I put products in it. So while I've had it sitting back behind my ears, it's just been kind of marinating so that whenever I pulled it out, I just have awesome fucking hair. Yay. All right, y'all. Walter, I want some freaking pictures. You need to go live. You need to go live. Me? Not you. <laughs> you look like a woolly mammoth. Um, we need to get together. Like, family is family. We need to get it together. I don't know what the hell he's singing. He m might have gotten into my wine before me. Um, like, seriously... This is all I do. Like, I sit in my office by myself and, like, get dressed up to go watch Real Housewives of fucking Atlanta. <laughs> real, that's my real life, yo. Now that I'm, like, released from the doctors and Modera has, like, completely healed me, I'm ready to hit the town. Like, I am ready. So, we need to get together. And we're going to have some fun. And we're going to have a lot of fun. And I will let y'all touch this face. And I want to touch yours. And we can just all touch each other's faces and it'll be great. Mom, remember you have a nice base. Have it. Oh my god. So, I, I know I took three hours. <laughs> I honestly don't know how long it is. It doesn't give you a timer at the top. Yes, it does. All you have to do is tap the middle. Does it really? Nope. It worked on mine. Girl, please, you're pushing shit around. So, I took my soccer mom look, oh, vamped actually, it. Stop, girl. I'm trying to get it. To stop. Vamped it out. And I would be. If that girl call. drops my shit one more time, she's banned from the office. I I'm going to leave my Morphe brush out because I'm fixing to clean my brushes and all my sponges and all that jazz. Um, the fan so brush bad. has a little holder all its own. It's cute. Because. Um, it's a fan brush. HQ, I love you all. <laughs> I got to go. HQ is on. So that's how you take your soccer mom look and vamp it up. And now I'm ready to like hit any club, anywhere, any town, any city, any state, anywhere. I'm ready. Look, now my, my phone's even telling me it's time to play HQ. Um, I love you all. I hope to see you all April 7th. I will be back. I am the Mystic Maven. Are you going live April 6th during the thing? Probably not. I am the Mystic Maven, Teresa Deli on. And if you have any questions about anything that I've done today, just let me know. In the meantime, I'm going to go win some money playing HQ. Mwah! I love y'all.